so the day is almost already over. Uh, I'm doing right now some prints with the Sigma. I see that it's kind of failing, but three quarters of it is working. So I'm gonna keep it. It's just an example to show some um, potential in a uh, special type of area. So um, I'm doing a time lapse of it. You probably just saw it and you saw the failure as well, but let's just uh, check it out here. So if we look over here, we see a, um, let's see, yeah, we just see one of the windows. So maybe we can show it from this angle. So what you see down there on the left side are windows into a building. So this is just a super simple way and I want to try out maybe some transparent material and some regular. So I'll probably end up doing something better than this. But this is just a quick tip to see what I need to focus on. So if we just check out what I did in the software, we can learn about the, the missing part there underneath, the, the ones that just hang. So let's just check out the software before we check out the finished model. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so we're just looking here at the model I made in 3D Studio Max. It's not the most impressive one, but what I wanted to try out to do is create like, like these windows here. Now I kind of get what happened here in the bottom, which is interesting. I did not realize that I had an angle here, so that's cool. So maybe that's why it failed. Uh, anyways, as we can see, this window here right one is the one that looks a little bit weird right now on the print and I'm talking to you while it's printing see if anything happens up here uh, <laughs> I don't know about that yet so I just took this in into exported it as two separate files and as we went through before on each file in simplify I first zero it out and then I uh, moved them here so when I just import the two models they will uh, kind of um, getting separately so if you center and arrange for example everything gets screwed up so you just double click on that one put zero and zero and then this one zero zero and zero now they should fit inside and the most important part is, is that when you're in 3d studio max you when you move here you want to center it all out you should make sure that the uh, origin is the same for both models even if you see these ones here uh, needs to be in the center as well when they are, uh, you can then export and you can do this trick to get them together. And then you can select both of them, hold down control and just move into where you want to print them. Anyways, we were talking about the printing itself. So I'm using two profiles, 1.6 millimeter for the windows in, um, in a uh, Colorfab XT. But then the normal 0.4 millimeter PLA in the left ones. So um, if we look here at the windows, there is a small gap in between. But I think what caused the issue here was that the first layer, uh, this one here, maybe it was a little bit too quick or something, uh, wasn't really working as intended. And we we'll also see here that the layers are actually going into each other. Maybe that helped, maybe not. I'm not sure, but I actively tried not to interfere on this window here. So it could be something to do with the layers here going into each other and therefore gripping much better. So that's probably I'm gonna, something I need to learn about when, when looking at the, uh, the next version of this one. So um, with that said, this model is done and I wanna try out a new material. All right, so we can kind of see that it rescued itself. So I'm just gonna quickly bump off this model here so we can have a look at it. There we go. Um, yeah, so it's not perfect. The plan was to have like windows in a building and I think I have some improvement to do. First of all, I need to make it like walls and not uh, low infill. So you can, you can almost, yeah, you can see that the roof here, two layers is not enough. So that's gonna be interesting to do some work on this one. Let me just see if I can focus a little bit closer for you. You should see there. So uh, yeah, not the best windows. I'll probably end up doing something else, but it should work. I should probably be mount another extruder, not the um, 0.6 millimeter. So let's just abandon this for now. I'll get back to this type of model soon. But now today we have some Ninja Flex, Semi Flex. So uh, I really want to try this out and just see if we can get something. And I'm gonna start with the 0.6 millimeter nozzle because I find that to be much easier when you do like raw testing that I'm doing right now. So I don't really, I don't really think about the settings. I'm just trying everything out. And with the 0.4, everything is a little bit more delicate. 
delicate, delicate, or ever, never mind. So I'm gonna try out the right extruder. So let's just unload and load again. Okay, so we just loaded some flexible Ninja Flex semi flex material uh, in the uh, right extruder, 0.6 millimeter. So we're thinking about a soft model that we can just try it out on. So I think this is really cool. Uh, it, this is from Gyrobot over at Thingiverse, a flexible coupling. So I got that, downloaded it, and just put it into the um, Simplify 3D. Now the issue was that we didn't have any good profile for NinjaFlex, so I took some FilaFlex instead at 210 and 230, and I'm gonna try that out. I will increase the temperature to the recommended 225 of um, semi-flex. So that's all we really had to do. So in the process here, we just loaded here as we always do. We chose right extruder, right extruder only, right extruder, just looking sure that, yeah, everything looked cool. Same here on temperature, so I bumped this up to 230 action in this case, which I think would be good. And speed was already set low enough. I think 30 is a good starting point. And uh, yeah, that's all we really did. And then we uh, prepared it. And we can see that this will probably be pretty neat. I think this will work out. And if it does, I will be absolutely inspired by this design, but I'll do something on my own for a upcoming project that requires two RC motors to uh, to function and I think this here in combination with some other hardware will be really really interesting so make sure you stay tuned for that so let's see how it prints Okay, so it's done. It's not the best finish as you can see, I hope, with the focus. So um, I do want to try this again with a little bit maybe less retraction or more retraction. Maybe a little bit less flow because it is a little bit of extra filaments. But overall the flexibility is good. This is semi-flex so it's not the, uh, the most flexible model. But it's it's possible to bend it and you can yeah you can move it around. But yeah, it's not super soft, so I might need to try something even softer, like a NinjaFlex or something. Uh, like pure NinjaFlex, this is 96A, I think, in shore value. But I can also try to just lower some of the settings here. And that's it for today's vlog. Uh, I'm not sure when next one will be. I'm going on a vacation quite soon, so there will be some other content on the channel. But a vlog, I hopefully I can get one or maybe even two more before that. But then it's gonna be a, a few, like one and a half week of um, no vlogs. Maybe I find some place in Asia where I can go visit and do like an on-site on 3D vlog, but uh, it won't be with the Sigma, so it won't be the same thing. But anyways, um, catch you guys soon. Make sure you subscribe to make sure you don't miss when the next episode is out. And as always, you can follow the links down below to uh, have some more content around. Enjoy your nights or day or whatever it is and I'll see you next time. Bye.